this is just a quick uh, look at uh, TD Snap, the Toby Dynavox product that used to be known as Snap and Core. So the main screen has some um, organized vocabulary. We see question words there on the left, then pronouns, verbs, descriptors, and then the pink buttons on the right get us to different category and word list. So uh, the primary focus of this is to do sentence building, where as buttons are, are tapped, I can do it. They go up into the message window that you see there, and we can uh, edit those or speak it. I'm going to hit the speak button there. I can do it. Um, so it's composing message word by word base. Along the left-hand side, uh, and these are the core words um, that we get to that section, that second orange button there. We'll get you there. Quick fires are messages that will be spoken aloud by the software, but not sent up to the message window. So if I started to compose I something can do. and then needed to uh, respond to a question or something uh, with a yes or a no, yes. this allows me to respond, but you'll notice it didn't go up into the message window and complicate what was going on there. So I can come back and it finish that. Um, so that's how quick fires work. Um, and again, there's questions, feelings, and um, other categories up top that are uh, quick access for phrase-based communication. Again, without going to the message window. How's it going? Uh, topics, the next orange button there on the left, um, there's a, a number of them here already uh, started, and these can be added and customized. So let's um, go down to the playground topic area here. These are all kind of organized the same way. So when you go into a topic, you're going to notice a couple of colored rows um, in the main body. Up top are some questions you might pose at the playground, since that was a topic area. So, Do you want to play? Where can we go? So it doesn't go up to the message window again. These are meant for quick conversation with people during activity. So um, it's a little different than the core words approach uh, from that second button. The second uh, color there, the second and third rows are all bordered in orange. Those are some responses or statements that you might say uh, in conversations at the playground. Watch me. Ready, set, go. And then immediately below those orange sets, you'll see a row of red and a uh, yeah, row of green and a row of red. So some positive responses or comments and some uh, negative responses or comments. I really like that. This is no fun. And then the bottom, the purple ones are empty there that they can be easily customized and and added to. So all topics are set up the same way. Questions at the top, followed by some statements, followed by some affirmative messages, followed by some negative messages, and lastly, some open areas there to be uh, customized. On the right-hand side are links to other topic words or support features. So I'm going to tap supports. And now each one of these topics has this page that allows you to set a timer, and we could go into the editing side of things and change this, but right now it's set for this playground timer uh, for five minutes. So you see the top change to red, and it's showing elapsed time. We're at 4.49 now. So maybe if we're on the swing, hey, this is how long we're going to do it, and then we're on to the next thing, making another choice or, or whatever. I'm going to hit the X there to stop that uh, visual timer. Uh, and then the rest of these are visual support tools. So this first one for Playground is a first-then uh, support. And these are active to speak when you tap on them. Oh, first, there we go. pick an activity. And then once I've chosen what to do at the Playground... Then, do the things you love at the Playground... I apologize, this voice, some of the pronunciations are going to hear a little interesting. Um, this one's more than the first then. It, it allows for uh, four steps into the process. First, put on some screen. Next, put on your hat. Now, obviously, we want to do them order, but you can touch these in any order. And Last, speak aloud. listen for time to go. 
But again, it's a little mini schedule essentially for the task. These can be customized or you can add your own uh, for each of the topic areas and activities. Uh, this playground one is an example of a script that you might have, uh, some statements you might say uh, in talking with a play partner. We have a playground at school. Or this could be set up as a social story for the uh, user to review prior to, during, or after an activity. I like the swings. I can go higher and higher. And again, you can touch these in any order, but they're sequenced in the order they were meant to be read. Um, and then the final one's just a, another example of that same thing. When I want to go on the swing, I just ask. In this case, we're only seeing the picture in a word or phrase, not the entire spoken sentences like we saw in the last example. I don't get off the swing until someone comes to help me. So that's a quick overview of uh, most of those features in the keyboard. Again, uh, QWERTY keyboard layout with uh, D. word prediction at the top. So as you select keys, oh. those blue buttons will change to uh, try and guess what the word is, and you can select that. Done. Since my sentence makes no sense, I'm going to clear my message window. All right, hope that helped.